Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and this is a printing question. Somebody asked how they could get this look with a white, and it actually has looked like two colors. Uh, maybe part of the shirt's going through. And I know nothing about printing, and this is what he sent me, and, and I don't know if that's the color he wants, but first of all, you need to pick the font that's closer. And as in many videos I've made, any font can be italicized, even though this one is not. If you double click on the arrow, you can change it to whatever you want. Now, let's take our name. Our name is only three inches long, so let's set our nudge, because I'm gonna do it two different ways. I wanna set my nudge factor on four inches. I'm gonna left click, right click in red, and then I'm gonna to go to, I'm gonna click on the item, and I'm gonna to go to object, or I'm gonna to go to effects and contour, and I'm gonna to contour to the outside. Let's do it in black. And engravers use a, a red for a hairline. I don't want white, even though white would work. Sometimes that'll, Corel does that point zero one. Change this to red or change it to black. Change it to RGB. Printers probably use, I must have been on inside contour. Let's go ahead and just use, contour is too large. Oh, it's still point zero one, point zero one. There we go. Let's go point zero two. And the reason I set my nudge factor, and here's why, whoop, I went back to inside, make sure it's on outside contour. And there we have that contour. Now, go to object and break the contour apart. And then grab, try to grab the center contour and move it down. Let's actually make this picture longer so you can see it. Or maybe you can't see it. Um, that doesn't really matter. Let's tell you what, let's, well, you don't want to ever do that. You don't want to ever move anything. But, so the inside of this is black, so we can right click black. The outside is white, so we're gonna click white. And then when we move this back up, and then you'd wanna right click, no outline. Can't really see it till you put it back on the shirt. And now it's got a white background. Now, that's how an engraver would do it. There's another way you could do it. Let's back up here a couple of times. <clears throat> and instead of, well, that's how, so you're making it white and it's sitting on top of it. That's how normally you would not do that. So then the, the top layer, which is gonna be this layer, only shows through. And that looks pretty good. Now, the other way to do it is you don't even have to move anything. Let's back up here quite a bit more. Now you got two items. Let's nudge this back to this one. Let's move it over to our shirt. Let's use the smart fill tool. And this is how an engraver would do it. Take the smart fill tool and have it on black and do the inside in black. You're going to have to do each, each letter let me zoom in here a little bit. Maybe I won't do all the letters. I don't know what that little box is, but it'll go away when we zoom in or zoom out. A lot of times Corel will have ghost items, but if you just zoom in or zoom out, it'll go away. Now what we can do is take the Smart Fill tool and set it on white, and then grab the outside and you get a kind of a totally different look, but it's the same thing with the exception of that only the white is on the edge. And of course, as a printer, you want to probably use CMYK. Anyway, that's how to do it. I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching. I need to do one more to make it perfect. Smart fill tool. That way you've got some inside and outside. 
Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.